the struggles to sleep as a possibility for a change. Maybe it is a wake up call, something that is telling you that you need to go a little bit deeper to relax more and or slow down in your day. Well, let's begin. As um, every class, um, I'm going to guide you to uh, a more relaxed state of mind with this six breath practice. Close your eyes and relax your shoulders and we begin. Let, I'm going to say emotions that I'm breathing in that are positive and negative emotions or thoughts I'm going to uh, breathe out. You can uh, say your own and whatever makes you feel better. Let's begin. I breathe in calmness. I breathe out struggles. I breathe in health. I breathe out any disease or pain you are having now. I breathe in relaxation. I breathe out tension. I breathe in a flexible mind. I breathe out a rigid mind. I breathe in focus. I breathe out distraction. I breathe in love. I breathe out fear. So, and as every class, especially today's class, Mr. Monkey is here with us to remind you that the monkey brain is still there and we are not going to fight with that but we're going to leave it in the background because mindfulness to be mindful is about allowing the prefrontal cortex this to plan and to do your day instead of the monkey brain so today class, I have my notes here. Sometimes I'm going to be looking at my notes. Um, so how is creating mindful moments is switching off the autopilot mode. Here are some examples when you are on autopilot mode. You get in the car and then you're going to see, you're going to see your sister. You want to go to your sister's and then after a few minutes, you find yourself that you are driving to your office. That is one example. The other example that um, I always tell my clients about my own experience, I was making coffee one morning and, you know, we, we were just waiting for to hear the sound and the, the, the noise of the bubbling um, coffee and we never did it. So to discover when it got uh, cold down that I never put any water in the cafeteria, in the coffee maker. So I wasn't in that moment in the present. There is another example of the autopilot. I want to make a distinction here. Not all the times the autopilot manifests intangible things as the two I have described um, previously. This one is that little voice that is habitually 
telling you that you are no good enough, that you are so stupid, and that you cannot do anything right. And because it's habitual behavior or thinking, you think that without being aware of the way you are thinking. That is an autopilot mode on. So autopilot is an automatic behavior or thinking, right? I just want to make it clear today. And most of the times, the mind or the brain love autopilot and habit. You know why? Because it saves energy. It's about energy saving. So why do you think after your mom took months and months to teach you that you had to brush your teeth every morning, right? And now you get up and you go straight to the toilet and brush your teeth. That's his energy saving. So you don't need to learn every single day on how to brush your teeth because it's a habit. It's the way your brain saves energy on not learning the same thing every single day. That is an autopilot mode. Okay? The the danger for the brain or the mind being an autopilot all the time is that we don't grow. And we don't grow, guess what? We die. And when the neuron, the neurons start not connecting, there's no neural connection, new connections in the brain, we start dying very slowly, and then after the brain, it comes who? The body. So, creating mindful moments in your day means that you live your day instead of habitually, intentionally. Instead of just see what, where the day takes you, it is you who is going to take your day because you have set intentions every day. And these intentions can be, no, well, you have goals that you want to, to meet, perfect. But also, intentions can be f like, today I'm going to be present, yes. Today I'm going to take time to relax. Today, I'm going to do some breath work, which is amazing to calm the mind. Today, I'm going to get connected with friends that I haven't called and I haven't spoken with for a long time. That is intention, right? So every morning, you set intention of how you want to make your day different because you want to feel different. And in feeling different and feeling calmer, you are going to be ready to what? To have a good sleep night at bedtime because your cortisol levels will be normal. So at night, the melatonin will take over and will induce you to a stressful and restorative night's sleep. So by Changing the direction of your habit or intentions, you make your day different. That is, you create mindful moments. Mindfulness is not something like, I know there are people that um, uh, speak about cognitive-based uh, therapy, and it's not difficult. It's just right, it's the awareness of the way you are feeling, the emotion that you are feeling at a given time during the day, and you accept that instead of wanting to, hello, instead of wanting to do or to be something else. When we accept, we open the door for a change. But when we resist, we close the door to 
any calm, to any change, and to any growth, okay? So accept, and accept is not like you're gonna be passive and everything's gonna to happen to you, you're not gonna take action, no. It's just to allow yourself to see the things as they are and allow yourself to accept what is happening so you can make your a better choice on how to feel better or how to create a different experience for yourself. The beautiful of creating mindful moments in the day is that when we live mindfully, we are in the present moment. Instead of bringing emotions from memories in the past or getting into panicking or worrying about the future that is uncertain. But you cannot do anything about that. And if you worry a lot today, that's not going to change what's happening. And 90% of the things that we worry about never happened. Remember this, yes? So allow, by creating those mindful moments, there's no anxiety, there's no depression. It's this beautiful you in your day, creating experiences the way you want because you have set the intentions. And one of the intentions can be so easy, is to tell yourself, I'm gonna be present today, or I'm gonna be kind to myself, no matter what, or I'm gonna be grateful today to people that I encountered during the day, or I'm going to smile to everybody I see today. And if they think you are crazy, Who cares? You are giving something, you are giving your beautiful smile. And I tell you that you might change somebody's life today because you are smiling at them so sincerely and so kind. So when we live in the present, the mind is no overdriven, is you and cannot, you cannot be anxious, you cannot be depressed because you are living in the now. And when we live in the now, so the stress hormones are, are, are low and when you are ready to sleep, you can sleep. And also by practicing few methods like a breathing intentionally you can watch all the videos that i have posted in this uh, group i'm gonna do another one tomorrow how can you take you can take five minutes a day five minutes of 16 hours you are awake by just getting into yourself if, if there are so many people around you get in the toilet close lock the door and be with yourself in your breathing and allow yourself to come back to the present moment. So, and then by being and living in the here and now, you allow yourself to live your life intentionally and be happy with yourself because you are not forcing yourself to be or to do somebody else's. It's you and your beautiful you every day. So what are those mindful moments? As many are, please explain to us. Yes, I'm coming. Learning new things. It's, you can go on YouTube and instead of um, watching gossips and show business, go in and learn something new today. Learn new recipe. Recipe or start learning new words in a different language or an opposite day i love this because that chokes your brain it's like the brain is what are you doing so opposite day is doing things 
with the opposite hand that is not your um, predominant or your stronger and your strongest arm. So for me, it's my left hand. So opposite day, I eat with this hand. I brush my teeth with this hand. I put one, my left shoe on first. I sit on another, on another chair um, in the table. So at the table and I do different things consciously and intentionally. And you know what? It's so much fun because you are making, sometimes we make mistakes, but making mistakes make us grow. Yes. And have fun with your children. Go to other places with your children and start playing games with your children. And if you have toddlers, it's amazing to play with your children because children are always in the present moment. So when you, you see your children playing, play with them and allow yourself to be in the present moment led by your children. When you, if you have dogs, guess and choose different routes where you walk your dogs and play different uh, games with your dog. They are always in the present moment. If you go to the gym, go to new classes that you have never done before and be okay if you don't like the class and, but at least you did something different and you try something different. The other thing you can do is go to different places for your lunch or new restaurants. Try new things instead of doing the same thing over and over. Go to different places and experiment with your life. Experiment with your new hair color or different things. Another amazing way to create mindful moments is to be grateful. Maybe write a gratitude letter for yourself or just call people to say thank you. Thank you so much. Ask for people's name. Ask in the supermarket for people at the, cash, at the cashiers. Ask the name and tell, for example, well, my name is Donna. Donna, thank you so much for serving me today. Yes. So people, when I, when we are uh, eating out, I always ask the name of who is serving us. And sometimes people say, what are you asking my name for? It's like a, to complain. No, because I really like to know who I'm talking to and who is serving me. Yes, that's another one. Um, volunteer, go to your community, get involved in your community when we help others and volunteer we forget about our drama we get out that box that is keeping you stuck in anxiety and in depression and we can't sleep at night so that's it mindful moments during the day plan your day have intentions every day, having set intentions at any given moment. I'm going to enjoy this today. I'm going to, enjoy, I'm going to go for a walk. I'm going to listen to the birds. Oh, I was walking today from the bus stop and I was so amazed by different birds thinking. And it's that moment, even if it's five minutes, you get into them, take your headphones off and allow to listen and hear the noise of nature, enjoy the colors of the nature, feel the breath on your face and allow yourself to enjoy that moment instead of being stuck in your worrying thoughts or anxiety. This is our class today. I hope you have enjoyed it. Let me know in your comment below if you what what else would you like me to teach what else do, would you like me what, what else do you want to know about how to get a better sleep how you can be in the present moment how you can be more like happy
happier with yourself, no matter what, with your beautiful you. Thank you for being here. And thank you for growing together and making together a better nice, nice life. Yes? And if you want to do more, and it is the time for you to transform, get in touch with me. I'm going to leave um, a link where you can get in touch with me. I am putting out the <laughs> fantastic, yes. That is awesome. Thank you. Um, just use your other hand. And you know what is going to be so funny? Denise is asking about brushing her teeth with the other hand. The first time I did it and I was, I was going to pour water on my face, I didn't get to my face because when we, we because that's not my predominant hand, you, we lose the sensation of the distance. So you might pour the water before it gets to your face, but that's normal. Just do it with practice. So if you are ready to transform, guys, uh, this is my offer to you. A five-week program to teach you how to get back to sleep at night drama-free. If this is a time for you to get your struggle from in, uh, of insomnia and every night a thing of the past and you are ready to take on your life, doing a mind management course, get in touch with me and we can have a chat. Well, this is the time to wrap up and we're going to do it as usual. Feel free to put an emotion you want to live, to set an intention to breathe in and to breathe out the opposite, negative, okay? Thank you very much. And we're going to breathe get uh, relaxed and uh, let's begin I breathe in focus and I breathe out distraction I breathe in response and I breathe out reactions that's another way to be mindful Respond instead of react. Think first. I breathe in mindfulness. I breathe out mindless. I breathe in kindness. I breathe out criticism. I breathe in understanding. I breathe out judgment. I breathe in a self acceptance. I breathe out the need to be perfect and to seek other people's acceptance and approval. I breathe in love for myself. And I breathe out fear. 